How's it going, peeps? In efforts of varying things up a bit for you guys, I decided to post up this tag team elimination tables match following the TLC matches that I've posted up. I could have posted just another TLC match, but I decided just to, you know, make things a little bit different. I know it still involves tables and it's still a tag team matchup, but then again, I don't upload tag team matches all that much and. You know, instead of a TLC match where you actually climb up the ladder and have to grab something, you actually have to put your opponent through a table to win this matchup, and it's via elimination, so you have to put both opponents through a table. And this is... I, this video actually was recorded the same time I recorded the other Curtis Axel matches that I posted up, and I'm talking about the online matches, not any prediction game or something like that. Uh, so this was recorded a while back, not that far back, but before the TLC matches that I've posted up recently. But uh, nonetheless, I thought this match was a pretty good matchup. I just hadn't posted it up yet. So, you know, I just saw it on my, you know, on my PC or on my laptop, I should say. And decided why not post this up. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually playing as Curtis Axel. And my partner here is playing as CM Punk. And as you can see, we're double teaming Triple H, super kick to Triple H. And I think at some point in this matchup, Prince Jericho would just... I guess he'd just go away. He'd uh, leave his Xbox and go do something else. Because you'll notice at some point in this matchup, Chris Jericho is just standing there. Just like right now, as you can see, he's standing there, but yet he's not doing anything. Uh, so, <laughs> while he was doing that, I wasn't sure if I should go after Chris Jericho and leave CM Punk fight Triple H. So it could be, you know, one versus one and one versus one. But at the same time, I didn't know if it was really fair if I would, you know, go after Chris Jericho when he's pretty obvious. It's, it's like, it's, it's not, he's not even playing at those moments when he's not doing anything. But then again, if you're gonna join an online matchup, especially a tag team match where you have a partner and you're supposed to help them out or whatever, I mean, it's not, it's not my fault that you decide to leave your partner hanging, but whatever. So uh, yeah, at this point, I'm actually working on Christian Jericho, and I'm not sure if I actually thought I could put him through the table right now, but it does seem like I'm approaching the table with Chris Jericho, and I do have a signature move here. And uh, I actually don't think I put Chris Jericho to it through a table. Uh, yeah, Triple H does stop me right here. Which, uh, by the way, uh, props to Triple H for doing that. But uh, but of course, you know, I would imagine it's a tag team matchup, and in, especially in an elimination, or actually both tag team matches, uh, elimination and normal, you would want to stop your partner from freaking going through a table. Because if he does, you're either going to lose a matchup if it's not elimination, and if it is elimination, well, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot by letting the other person do that because then it's one on two. Unless you already eliminated one of the other opponents. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, a uh, few updates while I'm, you know, doing this video. You can expect from me next week, I know I haven't po been posting up that much, uh, well, after posting up the raw review, I didn't post up a video until freaking now. And this happens often with the raw review. I don't know why. It's like I post up the raw review results video and then I'll go a few, a couple days without posting anything. But uh, I will say next week, you can expect from me, you can expect two things from me, two videos. One would be another Exposing the Glitches episode. I know you guys really enjoy that series, so once I post it up, make sure to click that like button and show your support and show me that you do want to see more Exposing the Glitches episodes. And also, you can expect from me another, another 2K14 wishlist video. I think I'm, I'm like at my, well, once I post that video up, I'm gonna be at like my seventh or eighth, I think it was, I think it's gonna be the seventh wishlist series video. For 2k14 and it's gonna be a pretty interesting one a pretty interactive one where I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys would like to see in 2k14 just like in all the other wish series videos you guys have come out with some freaking great ideas uh, in terms of you know possible features and additions to next year's or not next year's it's gonna be this year uh, this year's installment of the new game 
uh, especially in the match types, uh, match type videos, you guys came out with some match types that I didn't even think of. I, you know, I for I forgot about them. I was like, you know, when I when I saw those comments, I was like, damn, why did I think of that? That's such a good idea. That you know, they should bring that back, or they should add that to the game. You know, to match up we haven't seen, or we haven't, or maybe we haven't we have seen, but before, but they took it out. Oh, by the way, perfect plex through the table. Triple H is eliminated. So now, it is down to, well, it's me and CM Punk still, you know, versus Chris Jericho. Now, in this case, I'm not trying to double-team Chris Jericho, really. As you can see, I'm getting on the apron and just watching. If, if I see maybe Chris Jericho's about to eliminate CM Punk, I may or may not interfere. I don't know. I didn't have to do that in this case. Because right here, I think I... I think I think take down yeah I do take down Chris Jericho and as you can see the announcer's table set up and at this point I'm like oh it looks like CM Punk wants to take care of Chris Jericho so I'm gonna let him but then I'm like oh wait a minute he's just standing on a turnbuckle probably wants me to put Chris Jericho on the announcer's table so he could do a top rope move on him so I put Chris Jericho on the announcer's table get the hell out of the way so CM Punk can hit the flying elbow or the top rope elbow to win the matchup. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you did, as always, you know what you can do. You can click that like button down below, only takes a second, really helps me out. And with that said, I'm out guys, see ya.